I bet you know you can shoot ProRes RAW and B-RAW with S52X and S52 with a paid firmware upgrade. You need seven elements, camera with the battery, lens, autofocus one in this case, Atomos Ninja V or V Plus with at least 10.92 firmware version, SSD in the Atomos compatible caddy, cold shoe monitor mount, good HDMI cable, and Sony NPF style battery. I'm using knockoff version, so new L1, and this one is 5.2 ampere hours, which allows more than one hour and 20 minutes of shooting with Atomos Ninja V. Should be more or less in line with the camera battery. All elements shown are listed in the description down below as affiliate links too. You do not need a cage for this minimalistic rig unless you want to mount a huge external mic. Ninja V with battery and drive weighs 670 grams, but the cold shoe in S52X is all metal, so should easily bear it. For comparison, medium size strobe Quadralight 60 Evo in this case weighs 550 grams with the battery, so definitely cold shoe is ready for such load. For sure, a good HDMI cable is a must, which this one is not. I bet Condor Blue General Aldon version will be good. I've tested few and some does not even allow to connect in the ROM mode and some lose signal like this one from time to time. Generally, if the cable allows 4K60, you should be fine. I'm using 18mm f1.8 Panasonic lens in this build, but any autofocus lens will work. You can use manual lenses too, but then you are going to focus using the ring directly, because in the minimalistic rig there is no follow focus. Panasonic actually allows linear focus in S5 2 series, which is very useful for manual focus pulling. And I'm using 2TB Crucial MX500 SSD. When empty, it shows more than 1 hour and 30 minutes of 5.8 ProRes RAW recording capacity, again in line with the batteries. All we need is to assemble the rig and turn RAW recording on in the camera. <laughs> And it is ready to roll. And here is the whole rig. It weighs around 1800 grams, which is around four pounds, which means it is kinda light for the raw recording rig. Probably naked black magic cameras are lighter, but without external battery, they allow just 20 minutes of recording, while this one is probably more than one hour. So I'm going to turn raw recording option in the menu. It's in the camera icon and then the movie icon and it is HDMI raw data output. So I'm turning this on and Atomos recognize it. There is ProRes raw mode, VLOG raw and there is input resolution. And the list of available modes in ProRes raw is a bit limited compared to the list of the internal options. So this is the whole rig, really small, really handy. You can shoot with this for one hour easily, it is so light. If you like the minimalistic rigs, then you can use this one without any cage and you can record ProRes RAW into the Atomos. Unfortunately, I'm exclusively using DaVinci Resolve for my video editing and it does not support ProRes RAW. So for my workflow, I need either Blackmagic Design Video Assist to shoot B-RAW or pray for Blackmagic Design to support ProRes RAW in a future version of DaVinci Resolve. Or I can pray to Atomos to support B-Row recording. I guess Atomos will gladly do it, but Blackmagic probably won't license the B-Row for them, because if Ninja V gets it, then they won't sell Video Assist anymore. What is the final price for this rig? It is 120 for SSD, 400 for the Atomos, 2200 for the camera, 20 bucks for the HDMI cable, around 35 bucks for the cold shoe mount, and the battery for Atomos is around 20 bucks. So the whole setup is around 3700 because my lens is 900, but you can easily mount any EF lens with Sigma MC21 adapter. For example, Canon 24mm f2.8 used is around 100 bucks, and MC11 is 250 bucks. So then the whole setup is just 3100 bucks. You can also install small mud box. Tita Mirage in this case is just 
355 grams with two stages so it could be easily mounted on the lens itself and it won't break the mount so with a tilt -a mirage the whole rig is 2200 grams and looks like a pro camera it got a mud box and you can record raw footage up to 5.9k generally if your software supports prores raw it's one of the cheapest rigs that gives you the possibility to shoot and edit raw since I cannot use ProRes RAW currently, I'm going to build a different rig with the small rig cage. So stay tuned. Cheers mate!